So let's uh, tie uh, thunder and lightning today. Uh, I'm gonna tie a version from this fantastic uh, book, old one, Salmon and Sea Trout, Sir Herbert Maxwell. An interesting version of the thunder and lightning pattern. So let's start to attach the thread. There we are. So yes, working backwards. We're gonna start to tie in the material. There we are. Cut that off. And on classic salmon flies, you start back here. Okay, so the first ingredients, oval silver tinsel. There's a, a lot of oval silver tinsel out on the market. I use a few, like Vevus. You have Laugatun, good stuff. There we are. Let's add that one. And I'm back again. So I'm just building up a bit of foundation for the oval tinsel. Wrap this one around. Tight and close. Let me see if I can find the tool there. Tying it in, securing the oval tinsel. There we are. Continue to tie it in. Now we can start. So I just gonna cut off that little piece. So I'm gonna add some thread here just to build up the body. See, so we have a bit of a gap in levels. I use quite thin thread, 50 in here, now it's even 30 I think. Okay. So there we are. So, and then I'm gonna apply wax to the thread. And then we need to add a topping. 
So the topping has a tail. And uh, in today's fly, I'm going to make the tail longer than the, the topping above, just to give it a nice uh, fishy look. Okay. There we are. So, spot on. Gonna add some more banks. Then we need to have, let me see if I got any. I forgot to look for it. Need to have a small red feather. There we are. So I'm just cutting it to make sure I can tie it in. So I never rip the sides, I always try to cut them. I think it, the results becomes better then. So now we need to fit that one. Perfect. Maybe not perfect, but it's there, yeah. So in this pattern they ask for purple chenille. So then they of course gonna use that. Secure it properly. I'll tie this in as well, doesn't matter. There we are before adding some wax. Okay. So here we are. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can use this one. One wrap. Securing the chenille. There we are. I'm not gonna use this one to cut it off. Oh, and I managed to cut off the thread as well. That's nice. <laughs> But I was lucky since I waxed the thread. I can just continue. And now this pattern asks for oval gold tinsel. So I'm just gonna take away a bit of the tinsel before tying it in. Almost there. Oh. 
Ah, wax first. We forget to use the wax. It's important to get make sure things actually stick properly. So Tying it in, securing the well tinsel, tight wax threads. And the next step then will be to apply some orange uh, floss. I'm just gonna attach that one. Then add some gloves to make sure I don't ruin the shine of the floss because my, my finger is always a bit fatty. It's going to tie it in properly. I can cut it off. Okay. I forgot to, to take out the, the orange saddle huckle, but uh, I will do that. A bit around the corner here. Let me wind this one up first. All the way to the back, and then I go back again, forward again. Sorry. Gives a nice shine to the fly. And then secure it and tie it in. So just gonna secure it there and then remove these gl gloves. Cut it off. There we go. Tying it in a bit harder. And here is uh, where we're gonna start to add the, the cock saddle, orange. So I need to get that, bear with me one second. Just gonna have a quick look here. My wife was sleeping, so, so I, I took the opportunity to go down and uh, do this video. So, so she asked, wondering where I am. <laughs> so I had to answer that one. Sorry. It's a garbage over there. So let me. Where is that tool? There. Nah. 
So I'm gonna double the hackle, pulling one side down. Waxing the thread to make sure that uh, when you add some tension on top of this uh, heckle, it doesn't uh, fall off. So I'm gonna go up here, I prepared earlier, so I'm gonna build up the body of this fly. Um, yeah, you can see it there, right? Yeah. Uh, using um, silk to level out or build the shape of the body I want without uh, using the black silk later. Now I don't really care about the shine, so it's just to build the, the, the underbody, so to say. there going forward wraps I'm just gonna cut off the leftovers here there we are so black silk so I'm using the real Japanese one 60 meters pole so they last a very very long time It's very fragile, so that's why I use gloves. So I'm gonna wax the thread first, sorry. It's like a mantra, waxing. Adding it to the hook, just secure it properly. Add it there. Uh -huh. 
it's stuck in between. Let me see. <laughs> Since I'm not using a blind eye on this hook, the silk actually got in the between, so I could move it. So I had to tie it in the in the back as well. So now it will be better. There we go. Always nice with surprises, eh? I love to do these uh, kind of videos live on Facebook or YouTube as well. Then it, uh, no. Then it's almost and straightforward. So, time for the black silk then. So, and I need to wind it a bit more careful so I don't ruin it on top of, of the, the, the thread holder. Winding it all the way back to the orange silk and then forward again. You don't want to get stuck with the hackle there. See, just pull it out or move it for each wrap. One more before going forward again. I think actually I'm gonna go back adding some more volume just to make sure I'm at least at level with the orange silk behind. Now forward. I have another camera behind this camera that actually my intention was to make a close up, but somehow it just made some noise. I need to check that one and see if it's still recording or what's the state. So bear with me while I'm doing that. So I'm tying this one in properly to make sure it doesn't unwind later. There we are. Okay, gloves off. So 
So it's funny. This one always tangled. So cutting that off. Varnish. Now oh, it's gonna stay there forever. Okay, back again. So yeah, it, it's a new new toy. I li like devices. So this camera, hello Canon G7X. So now I took the screen, so I actually can see the 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 zoom, and it, yeah, it looks good. Hopefully, the, we're gonna be happy with the result later. So time for the oval tinsel then. Let me see if I can close that one a little bit. There we are. Cutting the tinsel off. Just need to secure it properly with some more wax. And wax a bit more for the next step. So now it's time for the body hackle. So I'm just gonna wind that just after the the oval and the gold oval tinsel. Just to make sure it lands where I want it. I pull it back as well while working with it. you to give a little bit more volume on the on the front I want it to be tight there we are. And a few wraps of thread to secure it. And then cutting off the leftover. I'm going to use my normal one. step for the body gonna be to attach um, yay feather just to give that lovely shine bluish so going back here where I want to start I'm gonna add that one right here so I added it to the back as you can see here so 
Så let me cut that part off. Uh, before I add the, the hackle. There we are, no leftovers. I'm gonna use this one to carefully add that one. Just a few reps, so I'm gonna stop here. Just pull everything back. There we are. Now we have that lovely shine. Yeah, that one doesn't focus. Sorry for that. Now you can see. So I need to look at the cameras more often. It's completely out of focus. So now that the body of the fly is done, so I'm just gonna make sure I add a few wraps of thread to level uh, the surface out for the wings, so to say. Yes, yeah, so the intention with two cameras is I have this one showing me tying and the other one really zooms in on the fly so I'm gonna add that video into the video so to say in it, its own box. So let's see how that turns out. And since I'm gonna upload it on YouTube I'm not gonna play any you know radio or whatever in the background. Uh, I'm gonna add some some free music later on top of it. There we are. So now we have a good foundation for for, for the fly, for the wing. And I did prepare a wing, but I'm not sure if it's long enough because I chose the tree O hook. And I'm gonna use the leftover things. Uh, yeah, there we are, and there we are. So all these small things that you normally don't do much with. So I'm gonna attach those as a wing. So let's see how that turns out. Now I need to pair them a bit more properly. Show them side by side. So let me see. There we are. Voila. So, to be honest. On. That one is out of focus again. Yeah. There we go. So, but I, wait, now it's time for. Yeah, wonder where all my varnish went, yeah? So I only have this quite dry stuff that I normally apply in the end. Okay. 
Could be my flight tying mate, maybe he, he overpacked his bag. It's easy to do when you have the whole table with stuff, right? So, now we're talking uh, young alcock and uh, let, let me find that neck. So we're gonna select a few feathers for that purpose. So since it's going to be a fishing fly, I have a few of this, not that bad, I'm going to show you, so it's a little bit split, so I'm just going to moisture it, and now, now it's okay, yeah. And those feathers that, you know, if you're going to fish with a fly, why not? I'm just gonna match it in. I'm not gonna follow the, the pattern because it's, it's, it's a short. And you know, let me. So, most likely, you want it to be here, but I'm gonna, you know, if I touch a feather, why not use the as, as much as possible? As long as you like it yourself. If I do anything else, wax, yeah. See a little bit more here. I'm ready. And uh, when I'm tying, I'm I'm like you know, applying a clean desk policy. So I have one pile of garbage away from me. That's it. And that's how I like it. Good shape. Not bad. So, a little bit more varnish. I wish I had my the one I'm using, but, but yeah, it's gone. Yeah. I was gonna have a look at the, the comment from from uh, my dear wife. Okay, perfect. Thumbs up. That's good, yeah. Oh, that wasn't that nice. So normally I let it dry in between when I'm tying, but uh, yeah, you don't, you guys don't really have time with that. So let's see what we can do about that.
That's not bad at all. Kind of like it. Especially with this purple in it. Really gives a nice shine. So I'm gonna tie a few of these for myself to try during the summer. It's not far away now. Just like three or four months. But the spring here is, isn't bad at all, so it's not that bad. Six weeks, then the spring should be here, hopefully. And if not, at least it's more light. There we are. So, next step, topping. See what I can find here. I just uh, washed a bunch of toppings, prepared them because I was uh, completely out of toppings. I need shorter ones. As I mentioned uh, in the beginning of the video, I don't want them to meet. I want to have a shorter one with a long tail. Maybe that's a one. Yeah, let's see what we can do with this one. Could work. Let's try it. So I always prepare a whole box with uh, these ones, yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm gonna bend this one that way, flatten it, and cutting a bit off just to have a nice uh, tie in point. Still wax thread just to make sure it's properly waxed. I add some more. So, let's see what we can do with this. And I think it's spot on. Not bad at all. Yeah. I'm just gonna do some minor adjustments. There we are. Okay, so next step more wax. Then we're gonna add Macau, as call it horns. So 
one strand on each side. And this one, uh, a, a lot of people have, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, this bird uh, as a pet, and uh, you know they they drop quite a lot of feathers during their lifetime. So it's a good way of uh, finding them because they're often very nice people. So so they let you buy a few from them. Yeah, no. Parrots, yeah. Sometimes when you're tying, you know, you try to communicate and your, your mind is somewhere else. So, let me see. Just giving it a little bit of shape. Let's see how we're gonna tie that in. Like that, maybe. Same on the other side, a little bit then. Uh, more bags. There it is. After this one, we're actually at the last step adding uh, the head. So that one is a little bit now longer. You noticed. Let's try to pull it out a little bit. There And there we are. And that's better. Perfect. So, yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's okay. So, now we need to attach the chenille. I'm gonna see if I can use this little piece. So I don't need to cut the new one. So So did it stop recording or what? Let me have a look, one second. Yeah, funny. So I need to, I need to record in, in uh, sequences. I thought I could just, you know, go all night until the memory cards uh, run out, but apparently not. So, let's then attach the chenille.
few hot wraps. There we are. And a bit more wax. I need to open a wax flat, uh, factory. Okay, and then finish it off. Uh, yeah, securing the thread. Then I'm gonna add a few layers of uh, varnish, of course. And when it's dried, I'm gonna send it to friend in UK. And uh, hopefully catch fish with it. There we are. A nice version of Thunder and Lightning. Again, I adjust the horns later. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you don't miss anything. I'm gonna try to do a video each week, new pattern. I'm gonna do, you know, salt water flies, pike flies, yeah, tube flies. Actually, fish. I'm gonna go fishing. Summer, summer is planned uh, to to um, do some really proper fishing, both in Sweden, Norway. Asia. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Thank you. Cheers.